Hey guys, I'm here with Tom Gibbis, and who do you play? Shikamaru Nara on Naruto. We are here with the interview I promised you guys, and we're just going to be asking Tom a couple of questions. Don't mind the broken screen, sorry about that. But, um, so, the first question, my cousin's, well, this was his question, but his first question is, what made you go into the thought of voice acting? Well, uh, when I when I was growing up, I always wanted to be an actor. That that was that's what I trained to do. I went to college for that, and I um, was pursuing that. And then voice acting was just part of that pursuit. Because uh, when you're an actor, you you take on as you know. You try a little of this and a little of that and you know some things stick and other things don't and i just happen to stick in um voiceover i mean i've also done movies and i've done commercials and i worked for the disney cruise line as uh, doing improv on board their um, ships and i did uh, i did all sorts of stuff work nightclubs and i worked trade shows <laughs> anything i could get going you know as an actor yeah and it just you know i found a little success with uh, the voiceover thing um, getting on Naruto for sure. And I've done some other shows, but this is the one that kind of people know me for. Yeah. And, uh, and that, that's kind of how it happened. But I was, I didn't go into it thinking I want to be a voice actor. I went into it thinking I want to be an actor and, oh, that'd be fun to do voice uh, acting as well, or that'd be interesting to try that. And, uh, and it worked out pretty good. That's my little brother behind me. Hey, little brother. Hi. That's Damari. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was his name? Damari. Damari. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Do you have any questions for him? Uh, how do you act in Naruto? Come over here, Mari. How do I act? Um, <laughs> how do you well, do you, you kind of think pick up a character uh the, the thing about voice acting the thing that you really need to be good at if you're good at voice acting is being able to what they call cold read which is you get the script and you've not had a chance to read it beforehand or or get any you know get any you might get a little bit of the, the director might say okay here's the setup you know naruto is uh, going into battle you're concerned that he, he could be injured and so this is where the scene begins and then you'll have the lines, which would be like, I don't, I don't think you should go out there alone, Naruto. This is a battle you can't win. You know, something like that. And so that'll be the line, and then you kind of go line by line through the scene and, uh, and do it. So um, that's basically how it works. Uh, if you're regular acting, you'll get a script, and you read it, and you memorize it. And then you go to the set or you go to the theater and you perform it and you have to, you know, memorize the whole scene, all your lines, everything. But in, uh, in voice acting, basically you're just reading the script as you do it. So you have to be able to be good at reading and speaking at the same time and sort of, and acting too. So it sounds natural. So it doesn't sound like you're reading the script or you're reading, reading the newspaper as it were. Um, one of the, um, one of the ways to get good at that is actually you can read the newspaper or read anything out loud or, or get a play and just read it out loud so that you, the more you read and the better you're at just sort of reading it and make it sound like you're, the, you're acting it. Uh, that's that's the skill you need to have uh, a, a career in voiceover. So, yeah. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. So, like, if you're watching, if you're watching a show uh with live actors like they had to rehearse that scene they had to memorize that scene they had to put wardrobe and makeup and then they had to block it so that they were standing in the right position at the right time and then and then they say action and everybody does their thing and then they might do it again two three four times uh but that's the difference with us we walk in they have us a script and you have to be able to go and uh, you don't get a lot of time to think about it and so you come up with a voice and then you have to perfect that voice and i've been doing shikamaru for 15 years 
so uh, it kind of gets in my head like I know how he sounds and what he's supposed to do yeah like kind of like natural and then we figure it out from there in the booth so another question is what are some more roles kind of like this that you have done uh well I started off my first thing I ever did was Digimon and I played a character called Michael and he was sort of like uh have you ever seen Gilligan's Island no oh do you know what Gilligan's Island is <laughs> was, uh, uh they're stranded on an island anyway one of the characters was Mr. Howell and he was a rich guy so Michael was kind of an arrogant rich kid and so he had kind of this you know upper class you know I can defeat of Digimon doing this XYZ and he had sort of sort of a flair like that sort of voice like that the very like um, what they call like East Coast and like a rich kid sort of a sound yeah and uh, like that, that one was the first role I ever did yeah so he's basically one of those uh, characters where Naruto was taking uh, was doing an escort mission with that rich little boy yeah it could be kind of bratty yeah bit. Um, and then I did a show called Shinzo, which was uh, a lot of fun, and I played the lead in that. And that was uh, Mushro was the main character there, and he was more like a Naruto type character. He was spunky and was always getting into trouble, and he had a voice like this. He was very excited about stuff. He talked like that. And uh, let's see some of the other things I did. Recently, I did a show called uh, uh, what, what is it? The Carbonari and the Hidden Fort Iron Fortress. It's a zombie. It appears on this train that was trying to sur help people survive, and that was a lot of fun. And um, uh, I did the Toy Man in Justice League Adventures, and there's a lot uh, of them. Uh, you know, if you ever want to know what an actor has done, you can go to this uh, web page. It's called IMDb.com, and it's Internet Movie Database. And you can then just type in the actor's name, and it comes up with all their credits. So uh, you can find out who played, or even if you can kind of do it the other way too. If you go to IMDb, you can put in Naruto, and then it'll have the list of characters and the actors who played them. And so then you can go, oh, Shikamaru Nara, oh, Tom Gibbous. And then you can click on Tom Gibbous and it'll tell you everything I've done. And um, the thing about what we do in voice acting is there's so much anime out there, right? There's so many different shows. Um, I've done a lot of shows, but most of them people probably have not really heard of. There's some, there, some people have seen them, but, you know, very, very small amount. And then um, it, the thing about Naruto, it's one of those shows that a lot of people have seen. Yeah. If you're into anime at all, you at least kind of know what Naruto is, whether you watch it or not. You know, uh, there's a couple of real big ones like Dragon Ball Z, uh, One Piece, uh, Naruto. Those are like the sort of big like most people would see it. If I, if I came up and said, hey, have you ever seen this show I did called Marmalade Boy? Well, you'd have to be a Marmalade Boy fan and you <laughs> you know, it's a pretty small number of people. But it's still, I bet, I bet there's thousands of people that have seen it, but your chances of running into somebody that kn knows what it is is very small. So. Yeah, and then when you go. Who knows that you're on that show or even cares, you know? But Naruto's a big show, so that's where I got my is there's a lot of a lot of actors out there that have a lot more credits than I did and, or do and they they don't get some of the same attention that I get because they don't have characters that were on shows that were hit shows or really big shows. Naruto is huge. Like even people that aren't in anime know Naruto. So they may not know my character, but they at least have heard of the show. You know? Yeah. So um so another big question that my cousin really wanted me to get to is do you still keep touch with miley flanagan and pe people like that like people well, that have it's an, act i do i do with miley but, and i'll tell you why miley and i have been friends for a long time we used to do comedy together in minnesota at this little nightclub called dudley Rake's brave new workshop and um so we worked together for a long time then when we came out to los angeles it's just kind of weird happenstance that we both ended up on a show that uh we were working together on which was weird because we knew each other in minnesota and we came out to la and we ended up working on the same show and so that's kind of fun but i've known her we have friends in common and so i see her at like events where 
just a couple of weeks ago, a friend of mine had a birthday party. She was invited. I was invited. It just so happens we were both there at the same time. So, but as far as like other characters on the show, the way the, the way the show works is when we work, they'll call me up and they'll say, Hey Tom, we have a recording session for you. We'd like you to come in. I go in and in and pre-COVID, I'll say that, <laughs> it would be, Turn off. oh, somebody else is in the booth right now. Uh, give them two minutes, they'll, they'll clear out, and then you can go in. And and you might run into them in the hallway. So I'd see, like, Liam O'Brien, who plays Gara or something. And I'd yeah. talk to him for a couple minutes, and then I'd go in to do my session, he'd leave his session. Or Robbie Reese, who plays uh, Choji. I'd kind of, hey, oh, hey, Robbie. Oh, yeah, we're best friends on the show, kind of thing. But... Other than that, I, you really don't see them, the other characters, that much. Um, maybe at a convention, um, some of the some of the um, online convention stuff, you know, I've run into, like Yuri and Tara, Yuri who plays Sasuke, Tara who plays Tamari, their husband and wife, and um, I've run into them quite a bit, and we've had some interactions that were kind of outside of the show, uh, but for the most part, you don't. It's not like we're all hanging out in the same room. It's not yeah. like we're working together. Like if we were in a play, if we were in a play, we would see each other. We could go through rehearsals. We'd all be on stage together. We'd have gone through this thing together. Um, this is very different in that we, we do it together, but separately. So uh, there are people on the show that are big characters on the show that I've had, you know, acted on the show that I've never met. Yeah. You know, like I could not recognize them if they were playing. I'd be like, "Oh, you're Kakashi." I I never knew that. <laughs> you know? So uh, there are some people like that that I just, I'm, or I'll I've heard the name. If they're familiar. I'll see them on the call sheet, but I've never met them. Like Eno, I've met Eno once. Her name's Colleen, and I can't think of her last name at the moment. But I only met her once. And Robbie, I've met just a few times. Uh, so it's very funny who plays Choji, who's my best friend in the show, right? And um, yeah. uh, I've only met him a couple of times. So it's kind of funny. It's just a weird, weird thing the way we do it. So. Okay, uh, you have a question? Do you know who's who plays like um, Kakashi and Sasuke? Well, Sasuke is Yuri Lowenthal. And again, this is where IMDb comes in. That's a good... You can just go on IMDb and put in Sasuke, or you can put in Kakashi, and it'll come up with some actors' names. You'll probably get the Japanese actors, too, who, who plays them there. Um, Dave Wittenberg, I think, is Kakashi, who I don't know if I've ever met Dave. I might have met him, but I don't know. <laughs> we, we'd have to talk it out and go, oh, yeah, were you over at such and such? I might have seen him like coming in and out of a session, but I, I don't know him very well. Yuri, I know a little bit better. So we've done some signings and stuff together. So that's how I know Yuri. Yeah, I did try to uh, ask them if they would like to do this interview with us so I could try to have the Naruto crew. But um, yeah. unfortunately, they didn't get back to me. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, people are yeah. busy. Uh, I, I'm, I'm more of like, hey, if I got 10 minutes, I can, you know, I'll do it. You know, yeah. I, I know that a lot of actors just in general uh, don't, answer direct messages and, and honestly I don't get to most of my messages to let you know <laughs> I mean it's really random that I saw your message uh, yeah. because my, my inbox on Instagram is so full I can never, I've tried to like go through it and just try and go through and answer people's questions or whatever and I can't, I can't get it below 99 plus it's constantly packed so I, you know, it's really random when I see it, if I see it. Um, that's why I do things like Cameo, because if you really need to get a hold of me and if you really want me to do something, you can go to Cameo and you can purchase and I'll do a message for you or something like that. We can then have options to do live calls with fans where you can talk live for, like this for five minutes or something. So um, I do it that way because there are a lot of people that tweet me, wish me happy birthday. And it's, yeah, I'd love to, but, you know, I don't, there's only so much time in the day. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I have other things going on and I'm working and doing some other things. So I can't just be on Instagram all day going, happy birthday. Oh, how are you? Okay, bye. Yeah. yeah. So it's, uh, 
it, it makes it a little tough. So I know people like uh, Miley. Miley just doesn't doesn't do direct messages at all. That's it. She just does not do it. And I don't think Yuri does very many, and I don't think Tara either. It's I, I'm more unusual than they are. You know, yeah. um, I'll. I'll, I'll do, every, do one every once in a while, but it, like I said, it's completely random. So if I do respond to your direct message, just know that you are very, very lucky. <laughs> because I, most of them I just can't get to. And I do every once in a while, I'll see one where the guy goes, somebody will say something like, I asked you five times, and my birthday's coming up, and you never said, and it's like, I, I never saw it. I never saw it. You know, you could have asked a hundred times, because I, I can't, I, you know, I, there's just too many too many messages in there to get to. It's just impossible. So. Yeah. Okay. So one question for me is, is there any rules that you're working on currently? Uh, well, th that's the thing about a lot of this business, like uh, with Naruto, I'm on Boruto right now, which is a continuation. I'm playing Chicken Maranara. That's consistent. I'm on that show. But you you really don't know when your next job, you don't know when the phone's gonna ring. You, every time you do something, you could be like, oh, that was it, you're done. And you just wait for the next thing to come along. And that's like right now, I, you know, I finished up a couple things, but where's the next job coming from? I don't know. I know that Florido, I just shot one, just recorded a session last week, but um, when they'll call me in again, I have no idea. It could be a month, it could be two weeks, it could be, it could be six months or eight months, you know what I mean? You just, you don't know. So that's the kind of way, that's the life of being an actor, is you just don't know. There's no consistency. You know, you can't just say, I mean, at least with Naruto, I can say, yeah, I'm on a show. You know, I know that they're going to call me at some point. But for the most part, you really don't. You just, uh, just sort of wait for the, wait for an offer to come or at least an opportunity to audition. You don't know. Yeah. So nothing really in the works at the moment. <laughs> now that might change tomorrow, but today nothing. Could change that's any that. minute. What was that? Could change any minute, basically. Yeah, exactly. Then it's the same with like um, the signings that we do. Uh, I'm going to Texas in a couple of days to do a to do a signing, you know, autographs on it. It's kind of Things. And I've got a couple conventions lined up. I'm going to be doing the LA Comic Con in December and one in Ontario, California in December as well. And, you know, look, that'll be, I'll get a call and they'll say, hey, are you available for this weekend? Can you do it? And I check the dates and see if I can work it out. Sure. And then we, we make it happen. So I got something coming up in October. So, um, uh, but that's gonna be like online, and of course I share all that stuff on TikTok and Instagram when I find out when I when it's finalized. Yeah. Usually when it's all said and done, and they said you're this is gonna happen, and, uh, then I tell everybody and I try and get people to come to the show or you know at least know to show up at this time and this day. And, <laughs> you know, you just do the best you can. So that's the nice thing about uh, social media these days is you can really get the word out. Uh, to people that are interested in this kind of stuff. So. Thank you for saying happy birthday to me. <laughs> oh, did I do it on the thing? Yeah. On Instagram? Did I give you one of those? Yeah. It's. Yeah. I try and, you know, like some afternoon I'll just take 20 minutes and I'll just go through as many as I can. But uh, it's. I know that there's far more out there than the ones I actually get to. So you were very, very lucky. So. Um, when was your birthday? Uh, August, August 9th. August 9th? I'm August 22nd, so. So your, birthday, so your birthday's coming up. Actually, more. It, it, it passed? Yeah, it's uh, September 3rd. It's September. <laughs> yeah. So, I, well, happy birthday. Whatever. Well, I'm actually watching Naruto right now. I uh -huh. and I see you in the show right now. Well, you don't. Well, you don't see me. Yeah, I hear you, you in the show. You see this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. What a drag. Oh man. <laughs> 
Yep, he's at the uh, tuning part. Oh, at the tuning exam. Oh, this looks a good arc. Have I fought Tamari yet? Mm, I don't think you have. Has she come already fought? Like that. That's a uh, good one. Unless Tamari, no, she hasn't fought yet. Uh, you're in for a treat. That's fun. He's coming up. That was one of my better moments, I think. Yeah. Garrett, you can back me up on that. <laughs> <laughs> now, Garrett, have you seen the whole show? Have you seen it all the way through Shippuden? And um, you I'm, watch Forest though, too? I'm not quite finished with Shippuden yet because uh, okay. I can't find it anywhere dubbed, so I'm just buying episodes from YouTube. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's always a mess trying to find it. You yeah. know, the show's been on so long, I think. We were on Cartoon Network, we were on the Disney Channel, we were on the Toon Disney, we were on... It's moved around yeah. to so many different places and so I've, many different formats. So. Yeah, I've stayed up till 1 in the morning uh, on Cartoon, Cartoon Network, and they do still have you guys on Cartoon Network. Good, good. Well, you can record it on your DVR and you watch those, those old episodes. So... Yeah, it's, that's kind of a trick, and that's part of, you know, the anime world, is finding where you can watch it, get, yeah. the, get the dub episodes, too. I get asked that a lot, but I have no idea how any of that works. <laughs> I just come in, they ask me to record, I record, and then I leave, and they I, they don't tell me where it's going to air, or what, or what, when, none of that. So, it's one of the things most fans want to know, and I have, I have no information for you. <laughs> Yeah, because so. uh, they stopped dubbing it on Hulu for some reason. Yeah, it's not that we stopped. We didn't finish the show. It's all done. I just, it has to do with contracts, you know? It has to do with business, the business of this. Because the whole idea is to make money. So, um, that's that's what it is. So, Hulu may have gotten the rights to show the, the original show, but they didn't get the rights to use our voices and stuff. That contract was negotiated or whatever. You know, it's, it's all that kind of yeah. mumbo jumbo. But we did record it. It's all done. It's out there somewhere. You can get it on YouTube for sure. And, um, and I, like you said, you probably can get it on Amazon episode by episode. You just download it or pay for it or something like that. But there's 750 episodes. <laughs> yeah. So if, you, if you paid a dollar fifty for each one, you know, it's, that's expensive. Yeah. It's a lot of money, so I get it. It's tough. Well, there's 500, no, there's 250 Naruto episodes, 500 Chaputin episodes, and then now we're into Boruto. We're around 200, I think. So that's a lot of episodes. Yeah, on Hulu they're still dubbing uh, Boruto. Yeah, and they're they're releasing them little by little. Yeah. Yeah. So I think they're at 119 right now, and. Um, uh, we're way past that as far as recording, but you know you gotta remember you gotta get everybody to record their part, then they gotta mix it all together. They have to add the music in and everything, get it set, and then they send it to them. And I don't know what their method for release is. I don't I don't know what they. Again, it's what they worked out with Hulu and who knows. You know? yeah. So I certainly do not know, and that is the probably the the question I get asked the most: When are new episodes coming out? I have no idea. So. Now, do you like Boruto? Uh, you been watching Boruto? No, not really. But when I when I go through Instagram, my story and stuff, I follow a couple of people that post some things on Naruto, and I am after I finish Shippuden, I am definitely going to Boruto. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, because Boruto is, I mean, it's different, but it's fun. It's almost like they start over again because they're. They start with kids, but it's our kids, the Naruto's son, and Boruto is Naruto's son, and yeah. uh, Shikadai, which is my son, or Shikamaru's son, and so they're little kids again, so at the end of Shibuden, it's pretty intense, and then we go back to where it's kind of kitty stuff, not, not real little kids, but um, a lot of people don't like it because they're like, oh, they were so used to it being kind of grown up by the end yeah. of and um, but you're starting over so you're getting new kids that come in and it's it's more of the kind of missions that Naruto did in the original uh, Naruto like those early episodes so 
you know, they take that into account. Yeah. But you get to see what happened to all the characters from the old show on the new show, and uh, you kind of get to follow along, and that's kind of neat, you know. Yeah. And the new characters are fun too. They're different. They're, they're like like the old characters, but there's kind of a spin or a take on what what we have done in the other shows. So, and that's yeah. fun. Um, it's as I'm watching this with my brother right now, and talking to you as i'm watching shikamaru from regular naruto i'm thinking about how it's changed from yeah. regular naruto from shippuden yeah shippuden, shippuden, shippuden. shippuden is uh you know it gets a little more like your little brother it's probably not appropriate <laughs> you know there's some stuff like there there's some pretty dark you know murder and violence yeah i you remember in the early show there wasn't as much of that. It was yeah. very that was very kind of light. Um, there was a little of it, but there wasn't wasn't like it is in Shippuden. It really got intense. And then, um, so like I said, and then Boruto they, they sort of start over, reboot it, and it's again for skewed for a little bit more younger audience. So some people really hate it, and it's just like it's just different. It's it's not. Um, if you enjoy the show, you'll still enjoy it, but it's yeah. it's not the same as Naruto, or definitely not Naruto Shippuden. But you gotta remember that that was for the kids that grew up with Naruto. They got Naruto Shippuden, and that was like they were their audience was teenagers at that point, so they kind of allowed it to be a little bit more adult, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I went through memorized the episodes and. Uh, the episodes that I know are not really for his age, I filter right. out on Netflix. Right. Like that whole, well, and, you know, it's pretty intense. Like when certain characters die, it's it's hard. I mean, it's hard on a, a, like an adult or a grown up, but to have a little kid just like, oh, they killed off this character. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty devastating when Awesome Sensei yeah, died though. The whole battle with uh, me and Hedon is, I don't know if I'd let any little kids watch that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It would give you nightmares. <laughs> um, I'm on a part. I think you're about to come up because Naruto and Neji's, Neji is fighting. Okay. I think it might be. Um, I don't want to fight. I can tell you that. And then they tell me I have to fight tomorrow and I really don't want to fight. <laughs> I was thinking of skipping the whole thing, and then they kind of, I think Naruto slaps me on the back and pushes me into the arena, so I have to fight, and I, I don't want to, because Chikamaru doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> yeah, he know. says it's such a drag. It's such a drag, whatever. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. So you'll get a, you'll get a kick out of this uh, fight coming up that, uh, but I do it tomorrow. Yeah. You'll never see it coming, I don't think. It's pretty tricky. So. Especially with your uh, shadow stitching. I know, we can't give away too much though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gotta let him enjoy it on his own. So. All right, well, I think we've talked pretty close to a half an hour. Is there anything else you wanna ask me? And then, um, Otherwise, we should probably wrap it up a little bit. Uh, I think that's all. <laughs> that's all. Well, it's very nice talking to you, Garrett. Nice talking Thanks to you, too. Thank you call. I'm, I'm glad I was able to squeeze you into my schedule today and we had a little chat. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's great because there's so many fans out there. And, like, you probably weren't even born when this show started. No, I was not. And it's so great that you kind of grew up and then you got into it even though it had already pretty much already been done. And so uh, that's, that's really awesome that there's this sort of next generation of fans and kids that really like it. I think it's just such a good show and it's really well written. And there's a lot of lessons in the show that kids can learn. And it's, uh, and it's exciting and it's fun and it's, you know, it's ninjas and it's all that great stuff. So yeah, my brother um, has I'm glad you enjoy it. And I'm glad your viewers enjoy it as well. My brother has one thing to show you. Okay. 
Oh, there you go. Naruto. Believe it. Yeah. He put out his shirt for me today. Well, he was wearing. Finally. No, he was wearing it from the start of the day. All right. Thanks, Garrett. All right. No, Just thank. You yep. Thank you. All right. Good luck. Good luck on your uh, podcast, and I hope uh, you get a lot of views. Thank you. All right. We'll see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. I think that went very well. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, that was my interview with Tom Gibbous, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Goodbye.